is it a long day? Yeah. Uh, most of you like already like a stressful. Mm -hmm. But I believe uh, my uh, research, uh, the presentation actions will be very uh, interesting to you because of like different aspect of like I'm looking for. Uh, that aspect is like eco eco hybrid. And in my presentation, at first I will cover a short background, and then. I will talk some like a uh, little bit my uh, past research that is included uh, like uh, fish pass design and optimization. And then I ended my presentation with my current research interest as class uh, members. Uh, let's start with this map. Uh, this is the map of like great explicit models. And I believe all of you are familiar with this, with this map. But I'm very much interested in this map, the little like a red color of the, of the drawing. You know, those are the coordinates are actually, this is a barrier to the defect connectivity. And you, you see that in the greatness basin, it's about 275,000 barriers. And those barriers are nothing but, this is the dams, cover, and not the road cost. And they are the big issue for the river fragmentation and the loss of aquatic connectivity. And if we just concentrate in the in the, in the New York state of the Great Lakes Basin, you can see there are about 355 major dams in this area. But if you see in here, it is in the like in the Great Lakes Basin of New York state. But you can see there are about like culverts and road crossing about more than 3,000. It's a huge number. But how can we overcome these like barriers to connect the river from upstream to downstream? Is there any solution? Yes. The solution is the like fish passes or fish ladders. And fish ladders is the one structure that can connect the river from upstream to downstream to conserve and restore fish energy. In general, there are two types of fish passes, you all know. First type is, we call it like a conventional fish pass or indirect fish pass, that is. And the second type is that natural -like fish pass. And today, actually, I will talk with national like fish pass because that of the fish pass have the have the have the ability to connect the river from upstream to downstream from the ecological point of view, and that is the most important and best method from the ecological perspective. And let's see our methodology. My method, actually, my methodology was included the inter multidisciplinary to effectively integrate the multidisciplinary results data from an applied user end, uh, sorry, applied end user community. And the secondly, it was a multifaceted approach where we use a physical model and numerical model and aim to answer the fundamental questions. And the secondly, optimization. And finally, we use a model to you know, real field applications. In general, there are two types of natural like fish passes. One is called the rock wear type or pool wear type. And the second type is that the rock wear type. We actually investigated both of them. To reset our objective, at first we developed a physical model in our lab, and that was in the University of Alberta. You know, the physical model is the best method to investigate, to visualize the hydraulics or any specific control condition. And using this framework, we then develop our new model using CFD. And but we use the NCCFX and multiphase model. And the model was calibrated and validated with a physical model data. And once we, after the calibration and validation of model, we took it, we make a tools. And that tool is actually used to investigate a lot of variables in our you know, physical characteristics. For example, at first, we considered the four major variables. First major, video, uh, first major variables are fish pass types. And the second was the border or weir size. We use different size of border and weir. And the border configurations. And secondly, fourthly, we use the pool and border spacing. And on top of it, we use another four parameters. For example, different types of slope, different types of like flooring, different types of weir and depth, and also different types of loss mean opening size and the space. Let's say for example in here, for a rock type fish passes, 
we use two type of cultivation. One is called the standard arrangement, another is called the cluster arrangement. Where we simulated like almost 94 simulation, where the variables was like variables was like flow, channel flow, boulder diameter, spacing in, in both directions. And in the second, for the rock layer type, we also have some three different arrangement of the boulder and layout one, layout two, and layout three, while we simulated like almost 104 simulation, but the variation, variables was like flow, slope, spacing, angle, etc. And the similar way, and this is the work where, where we use the same type of boulder, the same size of the boulder, there is no small opening in here, that is called wheel with notch. But with notch, you can see in here, we use another three complication and there is a small opening. We use it two different sizes of the boulder. Well, we use another eight, another 37 simulation to see the like flow characteristics in here and the variation of like flow, the spacing and the angle of the like size of the uh, the small opening. Let's see the result. At first we focus a single boulder. What is going on in around a single boulder? What is the flow hydrodynamics in a, in, a, in a single boulder in here? You can see we have some close measurement and the upstream flow is coming from this, to, this way, upstream, downstream, and both sides. For example, we investigated the flow and then we proposed some equation of some like methods to calculate the flow hydrodynamics around the boulder. And for example, you, you are very familiar with the like uh, the the two reason of the flow, if it is, this is the flow there, then we know there is a log log, inner reason and the outer reason. And the inner reason there is a familiar and the famous equation that is called the like a logarithmic equation. But for our case, we actually propose a modified equation of logarithmic for the inner reason. And for the outer reason, there is one equation that is called the false different law. But that one is not actually appropriate the normal that we actually modified this equation and propose the modified equation to calculate the velocity profile at outer layer. In the similar way, as an integrated structure, we also investigated the mean flow characteristics. For example, you see this is the velocity control. We investigated the time average velocity, we investigated the depth, we investigated the maximum velocity, we investigated the like uh, slow velocity zones. For example, you see the slow velocity zone is actually increasing with the distance between two weir. And up to that, it's increasing, but once it's close to the distance from like one weir to another weir is three times of weir, then the slow velocity zone actually drastically decreases. In a similar way, we have seen this investigated loss of turbulence parameter. And one of the, you know, like turbulence have a like, really like impact on the fish swimming capabilities and fish suitability and also the like stability of fish. From that perspective, we consider lots of parameters to investigate in here, but one of the most important parameters is the body CD. And depending on the size of the body CD, you can see that if the body CD size is very similar to the fish pass, I mean the fish size, then it doesn't matter for the fish to swim in uh, like uh, uh, on time. But if the size is like more than the fish, then it's the matter of modality and it's the matter of like stability. So from that perspective, we use all the turbulence parameter to see the effects on a, on a fish passes. And then from the design perspective, we we propose some empirical equation. Like if we consider the work and type, then how can we design this work and type? From this perspective, we propose the equality, I mean the Empirical equation, for example, how can we calculate the average order depth, average velocity, extent velocity, etc., using those equations? Where the key study is the dimensional discharge. And the similar way, for the rock we have type, while without notch, there is no opening. In here, actually, there is an existing like uh, equation of this, the Pauling's equation, the very famous equation in the, uh, in the weird equation. And that equation actually not fitting well in our system. Then we propose a modified coefficient of discharge. You can see that for the weird flow regime and the transitional or stream flow regime, we 
propose to modify the equation to calculate the CD value, and then we can calculate our discharge through that structure. In a similar way, if we consider the rock here, we consider the with notches, I mean, there is a small opening. If that is the case, then also we see that existing equation is, is, is actually not working well. Then we propose another coefficient of mu with the function of like uh, submergence ratio, and we propose the new equation in here. So using this equation, we can actually calculate the flow and, and also in a rock wear with, with notches. And then let's say the most important parameter is maximum velocity. You know, the maximum velocity we right now, we are considering the maximum velocity once we are designing any fish bus structure. But this is the classical equation. U max equal to uh, root over twice the delta H is the drop of the water height from one year to other year. But this classical equation actually not working well even in the uh, engineering fish passes. Then what we propose, we propose two coefficients, K1 and K2, and we see that K1 actually nothing effect, and the best value is actually one. Then we propose that K1, sorry, K2, but in K1 have a specific effect on both like loss, without loss and with loss condition. And then we propose two equation for with loss and without loss condition. What to calculate the K1 value, and if you put in your hand, and then we'll get your accurate mix and velocity. This means we are now, we are now, we can calculate our depth, flow, maximum velocity, average velocity. Now, probably, we can optimize our design, design because, you know, we have a lot of, like, more than 200 simulation. Which one is the best? So then, actually, we, we propose a decision tree to optimize our design, decision, uh, design to get the optimal ball. So where we actually use the minimum depth required, the maximum velocity limitation or thrust of it. And then we also use the slow velocity zones. We set the criteria that at least 30% of the area in a pool should be slow velocity more than like a 0.4 centimeter, 0.4 meter per second, something like that. <coughs> and then we, we propose some criteria for the energy distribution there. And also finally we see <laughs> swimming performances. So using all those criteria, we get our hydraulically suitable one. And once we have a suitable, hydraulically suitable design, then probably now we can go our field to design this structure for the implementation. And once we have a topographic information, watershed hydrology and target fish species, probably we can use this design procedure. For example, this is the one time type design procedure to design a rock type type structure. So if we follow this design procedure, then we can design our rock type type. In the similar way, we also propose the design procedure for the rock type type, using with losses, without losses. And the same way, once you are designing your structure, it means you are getting all the parameters, the spacing, the velocity, the depth, the extreme velocity, average velocity, everything. But we are not sure is those parameter is really suitable for our target spaces, then we also propose a design decision tree. And using this design decision tree, actually you can get, yeah, you know all the parameter is really suitable or not. If not, then we should go back to our previous slide and go design, redesign, and come to me here. So that was our, I mean, from my previous like research and all the optimization of it, Passes of SRV. Let's say some time research that I think of it at like the Clarkson University. You know that like in New York State, many of the structure actually are very close to their design line. And you know most and some of the structure, like dam structure or government structure, are not actually like working well. I mean they no longer are needed and created the opportunity for barrier removal of retrofitting. So, and if you're thinking about the retrofitting technique of the dam removal or the barrier or the, or the culvert, then one of the most important method is the eco techniques using the habitat structure like rock ramp or like macro roughness elements like for example, boulder. You can see some picture in here, in here some of the area are actually when using those type of rock ramp structure. And considering this phenomena in your know, New York State, so currently my research interest in, in, in Clarkson University is to investigate the influence 
of rock cap or liver transport process. For example, if you pose a rock cap and I'm not looking at the floor, we already see how is the floor. But now we need to see the sediment transport, how is the sediment transport bed load and suspended. And the ice, because this area is the ice cover, is the important thing. So we would like to see the ice cover uh, in, in, uh, like impact. And also, we need at least transport in our study. <coughs> and actually, what we want to see, to determine the fundamental shift of the function, what we want to see, at what condition, at what flow, there will be some bed discovery and deposition. And then, what will be the water caps, water parameter, for an example, like TSS? And then, what will be the effect of the, like, impact, bad or good effect of the fisheries habitat? That one is said, we only see in this fundamental shift of the function. And finally, we are said to develop a process-based model for the ecological functioning of the water. And for that, to listing these three objectives, we are going to develop Already I developed a physical model in, Eco, in Clarkson University. And that physical model is about like 13 meter long and one meter width. You can see some picture already. We are taking some preliminary some study. And one of my PhD students actually uh, present just previous uh, uh, session. Uh, some of the preliminary study of uh, turbulence and the mean flow characteristics. And I'm very much excited about this, this like uh, in group. Currently, we are using an 80 meter. That ADB is the acoustic gap of velocimeter. That can only give you, in a plane, what is the velocity field in a plane? And what is the hydrodynamics in a plane? But this instrument actually will give you what is the hydrodynamics in a volume. Like now we are very excited. Once see or visualize or, or getting the measurement, what is the hydrodynamics in within a volume? And that will be interesting in, in the study, will be summertime. And recently, actually, I awarded a, a, a grant from NSF MRI grant to buy this instrument. And we are excited to use this instrument from the summer time and see those effect of like uh, uh, with the boulder and the other parameters in here. And it is expected that the research outcomes from my eco lab will make the habitat structure self-sustained. That's our main target. And the attractive option for removal or, or retrofitting techniques of the barriers. And the secondly, you will enhance the resilience and ecological function of the ecosystem to conserve and restore fish habitat. And before say thank you, like I'm a, like I'm a new actually in here, especially like I started my uh, job at Clarkson in uh, 2018. It's my second year. So that's why I. I am my research interest in like eco hydraulics and also the fish passes. So I love to connect you all because I am from engineering perspective. But I love, I very much interested to connect you all. So that's why if you have any scope for the fish passes or eco hydraulics perspective, please let me know. And thank you everyone.